Hello, my name is Navjo Singh Gill. I'm an application engineer with LIPLM Solutions. I want to welcome you to this installment of the LIPLM Lunchbite series. The series is designed to briefly explore capabilities within Team Center that are often overlooked. We want our lunch bites to be valuable to you. So please let us hear your suggestions on topics we should cover via email. Today's topic is TC101, Team Center 101. This topic is designed for entry level or new users of Team Center who have little or no experience with Team Center. This lunch bite will be followed by TC102 and TC103, where topics like items, item revision, data set, folders, etc., etc., will be covered in detail. So let's let's look at uh, uh, today's agenda. So as far as agenda is concerned, uh, we will be will be covering uh, two topics mainly: uh, rich client user interface, and the second one is search: how to perform search inside Team Center. Um, user interface is also called GUI, graphical user interface, or just UI. That stands for user interface. This is how uh, a, a typical Team Center user interface looks like. Uh, I've added few commands, um, but more or less it is going to look like this. Um, I have divided Team Center user interface into two sections, the top section and the side section. The top section is the toolbar, the top toolbar, and the side section I've named it navigation windows or navigation toolbar, whatever you want to call. Now, first we'll talk about um, top section, which is our top toolbars. As you can see here, I've divided the top toolbar into different sections. Uh, Team Center has menus, have toolbars and you know, it has an application banner and uh, we will cover all this in detail when I'm showing you demonstration the next section is the navigation section which is uh, which has upper half and the lower half the upper half has quick links uh, quick links as the name says it is uh, it's these are the tools uh, which are configured to either go to the history, recent history, or if you want to save a favorite, um, you can uh, save all those links. Also, you can search, uh, you can save the searches. And also, if you are working in a project, you, you're you working on it today, and next morning when you come in, you want to get back to the same project, either you can save it, or you can uh, save it as a search, or you can save it as a favorite, or you can also put it in my project or my work list folder. That's the top plane. The bottom navigation uh, consists of applications. There are different applications inside Team Center. Now, these applications are dependent on a lot of things. What you see a, a user sees on his machine depends upon what type of licenses you have. Sometimes you will see the application, but when you click on top of that application, then you will get a licensing error. Also, uh, it, it also depends upon your CAD administrator. Um, he might have configured your team center to look certain ways uh, you know, so that you have access to only um, few applications um, as a user or as part of a group. So this is how my team center user interface looks like. Um, um, the top portion, as I said, toolbar. There are menus. These are drop-down menus and you can click on it and you'll see a lot of functionality comes in once you click on the top top button here then also there if there are some commands uh, which you use all the time you can put those commands here in the toolbar and you'll notice that there are some commands which are not active here because these are all dependent on the selection they all have input definitions so if you don't have anything highlighted or not selected as soon as I highlight the input definition is defined, you'll see all these commands will come up. So based on what you have uh, selected also determines what you see here inside the toolbar. 
as we move down uh, you will notice that just below the toolbar now uh, we have this uh, perspective here and I'll cover perspectives uh, de in detail later but let's say for example right now I am signed in as uh, info DBA and I want to change my username and password I'm going to sign in as a different user or maybe DBA or you know, administrative account so if if I click on top of this you will see that the user settings they come up so I can change the group if I have uh, different groups I can change the role also I can change the volume you know, and also there are some information you know my login session history information here <coughs> Now, if we move down towards the uh, towards the navigation windows, you will see that um, the the option for search, and we'll cover the search later. Here, you will see the home, my work list. Um, anytime if somebody sends me an email, a team center email, it um, defining a task uh, that automatically comes in here in my work list. And also, I use uh, uh, my projects. You know, this projects, all the projects I've done will come up here in my projects and also my saved searches uh, section which will quickly take us um, to the saved searches also uh, if we move down you will notice that there is uh, open items so items currently open so if I click on it you'll see currently I don't have any item open but once we start opening items you'll see that in a particular instance of time if you have a couple of items open uh, or objects open um, they all will uh, appear here in this list also our recent history so my recent history list is right here so that will take me to all the components which I have been working on in the current session also favorite if I have some favorites you know I can go to some favorites also we can customize the look and feel of uh, this navigation window so if I click on this uh, button here called customize it opens up uh, this window and now here this is where I can customize uh, customize my navigation so if I want to add some commands here um, in the customization window or selected entities what I can do is notice there is uh, on the left hand side there's available and entries uh, my available entries are file edit view so these are my menu commands file edit view tr uh, uh, translation tools windows all this menus which uh, which are on the top now what I can do is I can select uh, let's say there are a few commands which I used all the time and uh, let's say I can just click on this and let's say I, I want to put up a open in an X uh, here so I can just highlight what command I want and there's a plus sign so if I click on the plus sign here it automatically puts this command here in this window so what it does it if I hit apply and hit OK and now if I click on I want to list now you'll see that because I've customized that uh, and customize this command here I can just put this command here open in an X and uh, the same way if you want something else all you have to do is just expand this window and uh, you can just put, put whatever you want so let's say for example I want to put uh, a reset perspective here I can hit the add button and hit apply okay so it automatically adds up in this list so that's how you can customize this list here now let's take a look at the bottom section of the navigation customizing these applications is very easy so what what I can do is if I keep my cursor here and pull it down notice it automatically creates a list of application at the bottom so these are also called secondary uh, applications the ones you see here they are called primary these are called secondary um, as far as functionality is concerned it it doesn't matter it so what if you have this list a little longer these uh, options they come up in this list but uh, as far as what you want to add as as you can see I have only these options so you might have some different options um, on your user interface um, how do we customize this so basically there is a button here called uh, configure application if I click on it and then if I go to navigation pane options so this option gives us capability to um, to customize uh, what shows up in the primary application and what uh, shows up in the secondary application so let's say for example I want to add some uh, uh, some application so this is uh, the master list of applications available inside team center so um, that's why what you want to show now you can just uh, pick um, 
any option here and depending on where you click on the positive sign so if I click on if I click on the positive sign here um, you, you'll notice that this lighten up and then you click here it automatically puts up here so right now this application I can I just add it will appear here on the top primary application so um, let's say for example I want to put another application inside my secondary so I can just say okay this application um, here setup wizard I want to put it in the secondary application so all I click on the plus sign here setup wizard in the will come up in the se secondary application window so at this point uh, we have uh, customized it and uh, if you want to remove anything you can just uh, pick that option and there's uh, this negative sign you click on the negative sign and it is automatically removed from primary application so why do we need to customize all this um, usually um, based on our experiences uh, users they are only working on few applications of Teams Center day to day working they are only working on few applications so they don't want to look at a list of applications that comes here on the left so whatever two or three structure editor you know structure manager my team center so these are some uh, common applications they they use all the time so they just want to see the other, those applications so they don't really want to see this uh, long list of application on the left hand side just to make it look neat and tidy um, now once we have customized customized we can hit apply and you'll notice that our new applications are added like one application is issue manager and on my secondary list if I keep my cursor it comes up my setup wizard comes up as my secondary um, application let's take few steps back and talk about what happens when you launch team center rich client on your computer team center client connects with database server database server everything new you create or anything existing any existing object you modify it gets stored on a team center server so your machine is just a client machine um, which is storing all these objects all these items all these revisions all this information inside the server now the question here is how do we know from our client machine whether a server is up and running how the other question would be how do we know our client is connected to the server how do we know if our client is presently communicating with the server so these are the things which uh, you know sometimes you know we have to either um, call to our cad administrator maybe you know we he's not available so how do, how do we troubleshoot these problems ourselves how do we at least give them the right information so basically we how can we find out what's the s uh, status of the server what's the status of the client um, so these are different uh, legends uh, which which comes up inside uh, our computers uh, system tray so that tells us uh, whether our client is uh, connected or not whether it's responsive or not if our server is ready is it this communication going on whether it's disconnected um, you know so how do we get to find how do we find these server status and client status so it, it is very simple uh, if you on your windows machine um, bottom right corner you will notice there is a system tray so and in that system tray you will notice there is a there is application a team center icon will come up so if I, if if you click on this icon you will notice that your team center information comes up so it tells you what is the server status so right now it says the server status is ready but there's no communication between client and server so we have we're not doing anything it's sitting idle so this screenshot is coming out from my machine and what's my client status my client is responsive so it's all good so there are only two status for the client whether it's responsive or it's not responsive so that tells me it's all good everything is up and running so if you you can also click on the refresh button you know if you're doing something in the middle of something or um, you know there's a network breakdown or some um, miscommunication or some something that is disconnected so you can always hit the refresh button to get up-to-date information on your install
In the last section, uh, we looked at how we can customize the navigation window, how we can add, remove uh, applications. Now, in this section, we will look at how we can customize the toolbar with the help of views and perspectives. Now, um, these are the new terms I'm throwing at you, perspective and views. So what they are is basically, if I, if I go to my Team Center UI, you will notice that these tabs here on the, on the top right corner, so these are called views so these are different views now these views they live inside perspective so what is a perspective so perspective is is a way where I can group different type of views and different type of applications inside one window so that serves as a customization too so where are all my perspectives where are all my views now before we go into details of those um, what I'm gonna show you here is as a new user what what I see people or users doing is you know they as part of the learning process they they go into different tabs and then accidentally what they do is just click on close button so let's say for example they they click on close button multiple times and now let's say all of these these views they disappear and sometimes they tend to click on these small buttons and you know you click here the entire toolbar looks very different so how do I get back to the original um, original window where I have all the views intact now there, there are a couple of ways uh, to do that um, basically um, the quickest way to do that is by resetting your perspective so the current perspective I'm in in I'm in my team center perspective so when I'm in my team center perspective you'll notice that on the if I go down my team center application is selected because I have uh, hidden all these uh, views I don't see any views but if I want to because I click on this minimize button if I want to restore there's a small tab here called restore so I can click on this restore it will show me what's what all the views the views which are left you know they will come up here so that's how you can minimize and restore the views here but I want all the views back all the views which were inside my team center perspective so my team center perspective is here so in order to uh, get in order to do that what I need to uh, select is if I click on windows on the top uh, you'll notice that there's an option here called reset perspective so anytime um, you end up in a situation where you don't see um, any view or you want to restore back to factory setting or reset uh, then you click on this reset perspective and if I hit yes it will bring all your views back so right now th all these views they are linked to my team center perspective now let's take a look at uh, different other perspectives so what other things uh, are controlled by perspectives now before I go into detail notice if, if I click on tools I see a bunch of options here a bunch of commands um, things you can do within my team center perspective so what if I change this perspective to some other perspective so if I click on windows and then if I click on open now I go to other these are the list of perspectives I can select now let's say for example somebody somebody calls in um, that he's like well uh, I want to look at the organizational chart now you don't see any organi organizational chart here right so that would be a perfect timing where you will look at perspectives so you know you will look at this list here if that command is available let's say for example organization perspective is available so no, from my team center perspective I can change this to organization perspective and hit OK so what that's gonna do is it is going to completely change my UI so it's going to change my views I see only one organizational view and also you'll notice that if I click on tool all these commands are right now linked to my organizational application so my organization application is selected because of my organization perspective and all the tools available within that application those are only ones which are available to the user so let's say if I want to go back 
now there are a couple of ways uh, you can go back uh, with the help of this button here you can just uh, pick and choose uh, you know, what what uh, perspective you want or like let's say if click here you can uh, pick my team center perspective and it will take you back to the original um, uh, window where you started so that's how uh, you can work with your perspectives um, the second thing I'm going to cover is called views now views uh, um, sometimes you get a call from uh, you know, from a user or from your boss uh, he's like well uh, can you open impact analysis can you go to the structure manager or can you go here you know how do I quickly right now I'm in my team center and I see these views here so how do I switch my application to that particular view how do I activate that particular view you know <coughs> without having knowledge of where that view is inside the application so what you can do is the database of views uh, in short you know is available here if you click on windows show view and then you click on other it will show you a list of view so um, so you can you can either it is a search you can do um, a search here and then let's say my organizational view is not here active so I want to show my organizational view so I want this view active but right now I'm in my team center perspective so but for this situation since I just got a call I need this to make this active so if I double click here then you will notice that my organization view even though I'm in my team center I can get to my organizational view and I can make changes so once I'm done I can just either click on close or if I want to reset again I've already showed you you just reset the perspective and whatever you selected new will disappear it will take you back to the factory setting for that particular perspective now let's take a look how we can create our own perspectives and uh, we can uh, we can save our own personalized settings uh, for viewing purposes so we looked at out of the box team center perspectives uh, how we can uh, use views to show and hide different options but how do we create our own perspectives and save it now let's say for example we customize our toolbar in order we want to put some more commands here on the top so I can just click on customize toolbar so I want my reset perspective command here so once I have this I can hit OK so you'll see my reset perspective comes up now I want to add some additional views um, to to this uh, to my new perspective here so um, before that let me create a perspective so in order to create a perspective I can click on windows and then uh, window and then I can say sh save perspective as so let's say this is my um, my my test perspective and I can hit OK so as soon as I do that notice that it took all the settings for my team center perspective and now it did save as as a test perspective and also my customized toolbar also appears there so let's say I want to add some more views to my test perspective so I go back to my windows and then I go to uh, show view other so I want to show view organizational view I can show um, other views here by going back to the same command and let's say I want to um, view uh, go to other and uh, I'm just looking for some utilities here I can just put this utility here so I'm just selecting some views for different tools so once I have all these views what I can do is uh, right now I'm in test perspective I can go to windows I can just say okay save uh, perspective so once I have this I can just save this perspective now I want to save this as test I can hit OK and then um, it is asking me do you want to override in this case yes I want to override so this is my I've created my own perspective with my own views on it and also I've customized my toolbar all the settings are inside my um, perspective now if I want to change the perspective and you notice um, I can go back to um, uh, say my team center so my team center will have my out of the box setting so if I want to uh, go back to the perspective I had then I can just say okay open perspective and then I can go to other and I can just in this list um, 
you'll notice that my test perspective I can just hit OK and that activates and it will put all my commands and views as per that particular perspective. Now Team Center is a very flexible tool. You can um, change the look and feel of uh, the application uh, with the help of uh, perspectives. You can uh, you can show uh, different uh, options. You can also hide the toolbar options within the perspectives. So perspective is a great tool when it comes to customizing uh, your Team Center UI. So we looked at uh, different ways of customizing uh, our toolbar. Uh, we also looked at how we can customize our views and perspective and navigation. The next section here we'll talk about different search options available inside Team Center. Now there are different ways of doing um, searches. Um, you can do a quick search which is uh, used 90 percent of the time. Uh, you can do advanced search. You can save your search results. You can do uh, where used. Um, also you can generate a summary. Summary report you know in the form of HTML file. So these are different uh, search options uh, available inside Team Center. So let's take a look a um, few of them. Now right now I'm inside my test perspective so uh, I'm, I want to go back to uh, my Team Center perspective. So if I go back Windows um, I can just look for uh, my Team Center perspective and make it active. And now to expand my home button, you will notice that these are the items, this is the information my client is getting from the server. These are different items and uh, based on the type of files, the information, you know, you can expand and see what information is available inside these objects. Now, I will cover in detail in my next uh, lunch bite on what, what these items, why they are different icons, what these icons stand for. Uh, for now, I'm just going to say object. You know, these are different objects. It it can be different type of files. It can be CAD file. It can be Word file, Excel file, some um, documents, pictures. Um, a diverse um, variety of document types can be um, can be entered inside Team Center database. So we'll, we'll cover in detail in this uh, next lunch. But for now, we'll just uh, concentrate our effort on searching searching documents inside uh, searching searching objects inside team center so the first option is quick search um, so on the top left corner you'll see there's a search option here so now there's a drop down here and you can based on what you want to search this is a criteria this is a property so if you want to search on item number item id so uh, you can just uh, let's say i want to search on an item id um, i can just it supports uh, the wild uh, card corrector so if i hit enter here so it will quickly show me results for the item IDs here. So as I told you 90% of time this will um, this will suffice suffice your requirement uh, for searching documents. So you can just change the option here and you can search on item name or whatever you want to do. So that's one way of searching documents. The other, way, uh, the other way is if you need a little bit of more information, some advanced uh, search options. So in the drop down at the bottom, there's an option called advanced. If I click on advanced, that opens up uh, advanced view. And here I can, I can either search for this um, item ID here, or maybe I want to search by combining different options together. So by that I mean, uh, if I just say item here, it will open up a master form and here you can just uh, fill your criteria for searching. So let's say um, I got a request uh, uh, from a manager and he wants to look at all the work I've done in the last 3-4 uh, months. So what I can do is I want to search for all the items I've created. Um, December or January 2016. So what I can do is I can look for, I'm looking for an item type. So this is a type of object I'm searching. I'm searching for item and here's my uh, group and uh, my ownership um, ID. So I'm looking for created after. So I can just pick up a date here. So in this case I'm just going to do, okay, go back. I'm going to select a date. So say December is my date hit OK. So now I've entered the criteria. So based on all 
this information I can search and all the results which matches will automatically come up you will notice that um, team center search is very fast so what it is doing is in the back end it's using a database uh, type search um, in the forms of tables and uh, columns and you know that's why this uh, output is really fast so now you can uh, you can show here different options also like this is my search result um, so if I right click here I can also compare this result with any of my previous results so here right now my active is 6 and I can just go back and say item 5 now it's gonna show us it's gonna compare all the stuff between these two sh searches so my item number 6 search and item number 5 search so it's gonna show me what all are the all the difference between these search so it's telling me 127 total difference uh, different objects were found so that's how you can use your advanced search options and also you can um, you can compare them as required so I can close so again very powerful functionality embedded inside team center advanced search also gave us an option to to save um, our search results um, for example if I right click here um, I get an option to save my results also you can just do add to my saved searches so if I click on add to my saved searches what it does I can just say okay this is my test and uh, hit OK so since this uh, name already exists, I can just say test score one hit OK now if I look here um, there's a there's a option here for my saved searches so if I click here my saved searches it will it will run so earlier I had a test so I can just hit OK so my test if I want to launch my test uh, say result I can just launch that one if I want a uh, test underscore one again I can just click on this drop down and double click here so that's how you can save your um, your search results and you can also develop a library of uh, save searches and all those live you know, options will come up here in this drop down arrow the next uh, option I'm going to show you is uh, how to generate reports um, you know, everybody wants to look at the search results in the form of uh, a HTML file or Excel sheet where they can see the list uh, of options um, so if I click on tools on the top then the, if I go to report uh, team center has a report bi um, report builder option so if I click on report builder option it gives me option and I can select uh, what's my criteria for the report so here in this case I'm going just going to select a criteria random criteria and uh, if I hit next here I can define the criteria so now this is just like your advanced search um, I'm looking for item ID I can just uh, enter information and based on um, this information my results uh, will come up so here I'm just going to just say creation date since we already looked at it so I can just hit OK and now if I hit finish I have an option here to select style sheets and uh, based on the install uh, you have at your site you will you will you'll see different options um, my install is just out of the box team center install so it doesn't have a list of options these are two which are delivered um, out of the box so I can just select this and hit finish um, what it does based on my advanced search option it is going to generate a report for me so um, as you can see it, this is the result of my advanced search and it uh, this report is saved here in my temp location in the form of HTML file so you can just copy this result and send it to um, send, send it to your user or boss whosoever is asking you for the information so those are in a nutshell these are uh, the different search options uh, um, available so um, in these a few last few minutes we looked at advanced search options we looked at uh, how we can generate uh, reports um, in the form of HTML file. Also, <coughs> uh, 
looked at how to do quick search. Our next uh, lunch bite, which is going to be TC102, um, we haven't decided the date, uh, but uh, you know, for now the agenda is uh, we'll cover in detail about item item revisions. We'll talk about master forms. We'll talk about different data types, data sets, uh, what all data can inside, name references. Um, these are some of the options we'll cover in detail in our next uh, uh, lunch bite. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your attention today. Uh, I hope you found this session informative. Please email us your suggestions for future lunch bite topics. Also email us for any questions you may have during this session. We appreciate your business and let us know if you have any questions for our technical support team. We are here to help. Thanks and have a great day. Ally PLM.